Hi Libra, welcome in. How's everybody doing today? My name is Shannon. We're here with a timeless reading for you guys. We're going to start off with an oracle card just to get the overall theme. Okay, we're starting off with number 17, friendship. And number six, divine feminine. And now we're going to jump in with the tarot and see what you guys got going on here. What do we need to know about friendship for Libra spirit? How's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing well. I'll try to make this quick, guys. All right, so we've got the Six of Swords. Interestingly enough, this is the Six of Swords is about moving on to a better place mentally. Um, this specific card is labeled as detachment. So maybe we're detaching from some type of a friend group, from a friendship specifically. We've got the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. This could have been somebody that you didn't think you would ever detach from. This could have been somebody who felt more like family to you. What is our challenge here? The Magician and the Hanged Man. Tell me more about this Magician. The Six of Pentacles. For whatever reason, you guys are trying to detach from this situation, this friendship. Um, I mean, friendship is a pretty all-encompassing term. Could be about somebody you work with. Again, could be with a family member. Could be with an actual friend. Um, there's something here about there being some type of a blockage as far as you being able to actually move away from this person. And it seems like it's tied to something here in the physical, like they've done something for you or they've been there for you and you're kind of stuck in this mindset of, well, it would be wrong of me to detach from this situation. It would be wrong of me to move away from this situation feeling cold to pull another oracle card. What else do we need to know about this friendship? New moon, talisman. Yeah, it's interesting. I'm looking at this new moon card, Libra, and it's like there's something covering up obviously new moon there's something there's something here covering up the clarity the the sun that's trying to shine through here more psychic it's like this person might even be trying to hide something and you know this like there's something in your intuition telling you that this person is hiding something from you. But for some reason you feel, I don't, I hate to use the word obligated, but that's kind of what it feels like. You feel like an obligation to this person for some reason. Why do we feel obligated? What? Why are we feeling tied to this person? The fool. The Nine of Swords, this person may, and the Five of Pentacles. This person may have person, people, however this is resonating for you. Um, and if it doesn't resonate for you, that's completely fine. It's not your message. No worries. Um, this person could have helped to, at, at one point in your life, yeah, strength on the bottom of the deck, could have helped pull you out of something that you were feeling stuck in some type of an emotional turmoil, feeling left out. It's almost like, yeah, I'm, I'm seeing some type of situation and this is just a metaphor for me to try and be able to understand this better, but seeing like somebody sitting alone in a lunchroom and somebody walking up to them and showing them kindness. But something has happened here where you're feeling a need to break away from this situation, but you're still focused on what happened back, way back when, right? We're still focused on that. And 
there's a need to recognize what that was, but something else has occurred between then and now. And you're intuitively, you, you intuitively know either this person's hiding something from you or this person was wearing a mask. They weren't who they said that they were. And there's a need for you to move away from them now. But it's like your empathy, your compassion is holding you back from doing so to your own detriment. So what's our guidance here, Spirit? The lovers. Yes, this is a major choice. The hermit. Okay, so spirit saying to you, Libra, this is going to be a major decision on your part, how you're going to handle this. Because I think you guys already know, if this is your reading, you already know what needs to be done. But there is a decision that needs to be made on how to do this, okay? And spirit's guiding you to go within to sit with this. So as opposed to kind of talking to every, you know, person you see about the situation and saying, you know, how would you go about this? There is a need to go within and make this decision on your own. And obviously we're never completely alone. We always have spirit. We always have our guides with us. But this is something, this is a path you need to walk solo. Okay. Um, and let's see, let's, let's see outcome here. Yeah, the Queen of Swords as your outcome. There's going to become becoming a point in time. Did that come out right? Maybe. <laughs> There's a point in time coming along where you're going to have to look at this from a very black and white perspective because you know what needs to happen. It's kind of like with the Queen of Swords, we need to take the emotions out of it. We need to use our logic and our reasoning and we need to make the decision um, because whatever's happening here, does it feel terrible? No, it doesn't feel awful, but it feels again like something is being hidden from us and it feels like you guys are already aware of what that might be. And let me just put this out there too. This may not be a permanent detachment. Maybe we just need to detach from this person for a period of time. And maybe it's for their best interest as well that we do so. But there's a need for this. So the guidance here, Libra, is for you to go within and to really sit with this and to come up with a decision on how you're going to handle this, but not to be coming from a place of your emotions, to be thinking about this logically, um, and to be coming from a place of being grounded and wanting what's best for everyone involved. All right, my friends, that's where we're going to leave it at. Thank you guys so much for being here with me today. I truly hope this brings whoever needs to hear it some clarity or confirmation. I love you guys so much. I hope you're having a beautiful day, and I will talk to you again soon.